Taking a look at the front of the box, you can clearly see they've really put a lot of thought into this. Uh, firstly, it's got this little handle there for holding it on a peg in a shop, but to be honest, it's quite a heavy package, so I don't think that's really advised. On the top, it tells us that it's double layer heat pipe direct touch with the zigmatech.com uh, URL on there. We can see straight away that the box has got this reflective material on it, and I think it just really stands out and looks really, really good. And you should be able to see actually on the camcorder that I'm filming with all the different colours here. We've got green, sort of pinky red, yellow, and so forth. It's got the Thor Hammer logo on there telling us the exact model number. It tells us about the double layer heat pipe direct touch technology. And there's also a little window there so we can see part of the product inside. Nothing too exciting on this side. It does tell us about the special fin shaped design. And you can see it's got a picture of it and a window there as well. It tells us also about the double layer heat pipe direct touch technology. So you can see through the window the heat pipe direct touch technology with these copper heat pipes. And then if we look at the other side we can see it says double layer HDT technology and tells us the same thing in many different languages, German, Japanese and so forth. And lastly on the back of the box it has got the Thor's Hammer logo on there again with this man with I'm guessing he's Thor with his hammer. And there is a picture of the heatsink itself, the Zygmatech logo once again with the website address and the full specification telling you what the heatsink's made out of, what the heat pipes are made out of, the full specifications on the dimensions, the weights and the application, what this can actually be used with, which includes all Intel Socket 775 CPUs, all Intel Socket 1366 CPUs, uh, all AMD Socket K8, 754, 939, 940 CPUs and all AMD Socket AM2, 940 CPUs. So it does support the latest on Intel and AMD. Sadly, no mention of Core i7 on uh, the Socket 1156. So who knows, it may fit, it may not. We will have to find out from opening it up. So you have got this sticky label on top, which if it has been taken off or if it's broken, then just be wary inside the contents might have been tampered with. So just pull that down and you pull the flap, open this one up, and we can still see this reflective surface on there, which I really, really like. You can see inside we've got the Thor's Hammer user's manual, opening that up, and in many different languages, talks you through exactly what should be included, uh, the application on the AMD front, application for Intel 775 and 1366, and the fan installation as well, and extra options uh, with the anti-vibration rubber. So quite a lot of information there. We can then proceed to take the rest of this out, which we can see is a plastic block and inside we get we get this for uh, obviously assisting you with mounting the brackets on some silicon gel we also get the Intel brackets and in here we get AMD brackets, heatsink thermal compounds, screws, fixtures, fittings anti-vibration rubber mounts springs so quite a lot there for the for the AMD uh, other than that we get the X plate itself which is for socket 1366 and as I say with that you have got the sticky pad one as well obviously to assist with that and also apart from that we have the heatsink itself so taking off this top plastic layer we can see the heatsink itself in all its glory and I've got to admit it is absolutely huge. You can see straight away that it's sort of a, a gum metal colour and it fins all the way down the side with heat pipes going up through the side. They don't come out of the top because we have this bit and this bit. We can see exactly where it comes down and makes contact with the base plate. Be sure to check out etechnics.com very very soon where I will have a full review on this heatsink cooler.